In order to install a newer version of Creative Studio, you first have to uninstall your old one. So on a Windows 8.1 computer, in order to uninstall, we're going to take our mouse and we're going to go up to the top right hand corner and that's going to pop out a little menu. We're going to click on search. Looks like a little magnifying glass. In search, you're going to type in uninstall. And you'll see down here that uninstall a program comes up. Click on that. That will take you into your control panel. And you'll click on Creative Studio. And then you'll click on uninstall. Now I know that uninstalling Creative Studio is very scary, but when we uninstall, we only get rid of the executable file. All of your patterns and all of your projects will still be intact when you uninstall this. So it's going to ask if you're really sure, and we're going to say yes. Now the user account controls may come up and say that it doesn't know who this publisher is. Do we want it to be able to make changes to this computer? And you're going to say yes. Okay, and then once Creative Studio has been uninstalled, once we have Creative Studio 6.0 downloaded to this computer, then we can go in and we can unzip the file and we can extract it and download it. And the first thing that we need to do is go to where we saved the file. So we're going to go down to the bottom, there's a little pop-up menu, and you're going to gonna want to click on the little folder, the little file folder here. And this will bring up your PC. On the C drive, you're going to want to double click. And you'll see your CS updates file right here. So you're going to double click on CS updates. And you're going to see this Creative Studio 6.0.0 zipped file. To unzip this file, you need to right click and go down to extract all. The file should say that it will extract to the C CS updates Creative Studio 6.0.0. If it doesn't, you need to browse and go to that file. And if it does say that, we'll click extract. When it's finished extracting, the folder will open that says IS Setup Prerequisites and Creative Studio 6.0 Installer. You need to double click on Creative Studio 6.0 Installer. A user account control will pop up asking if you want to allow the following program to make changes to the computer. This is what we've been working for, so you're going to say yes. And then the Install Shield Blizzard will come up. Sometimes you have to wait for a minute, and it'll pop up when it's ready. First thing it's going to ask you is if you're installing Creative Studio for standalone mode or for your Stitcher. And we are on our Stitcher computer, so we're going to click Stitcher. And it's going to tell you to turn on the red and green switches, so make sure everything is turned on, and then click OK. If your firmware is good, you may go ahead and click Install and then it's going to have you click next. You have to accept the license agreement and click next. On this page, make sure that this says install Creative Studio 2 C Sattler Stitcher Creative Studio. If it says something else, you need to go to the change button and find a, a new place to put it. And then click next. And then you're going to click install. Here's where you need to remember that we made note of our controller type. Um, for the newer computers or the newer systems, the it'll be mod F or G, the Ethernet controller, and you can just click next. So now we have completed the install, all we have to do is click finish. The program is going to ask you to calibrate your machine once we've installed. To calibrate, you want to move the machine to the middle of your table and then all the way towards you, towards the belly bar. If you leave it towards the back, then it's going to run into things when we're doing the calibrate. You also need to know that the needle is going to move. So if you have fabric on your table, you'll want to remove your needle and or you'll want to unthread your needle and remove your bobbin. 
When you're ready with that, you'll click yes. When the Calibrate All is finished, it'll tell you Calibrate All Successful, and you can click OK. And then move your table to a repeatable table position and click OK. And congratulations, you now have Creative Studio 6.0.